family who learned what welcome this Lord to uh, be able to have, to have our child dedicated here today, Lord. And uh, just uh, praise you, Lord, for everything that you do in our lives, Lord, and the lives of everyone here, Lord. And uh, I just uh, want to lift you up, want to lift up the celebration today, Lord, for this church, Lord. It's amazing. It's an amazing uh, thing, Lord, that uh, you're able to uh, raise up this church, Lord, in faith, Lord, and in love, Lord, and uh, continue to uh, continue to pray for this church, Lord, and uh, for my family, Lord, for my for my child that's been dedicated today, Lord, that uh, may you lead her, Lord, lead her, and lead us, Lord, as parents, Lord, to be able to uh, raise her up, Lord, in the ways yes. of you, Lord, and that uh, be able to raise her up, Lord, to knowing you, Lord, loving you, Lord, and understanding you, Lord, be, be out there, Lord, to uh, spread your love, Lord, thank you, Lord. Let me read some scripture, Colossians 1, 15 to 16. Who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature? For by Him were all things created, that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible. Whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by Him and for Him. And so, we do this in obedience. We come now and dedicate Isabel in this place. The one advantage is this, now. There is another church who will have you on video, who will remember you, and all your father has to say is pray for her, and we will know exactly who you are. <laughs> yeah, right. I, I, I'm not sure if you were just able, you would dedicate yourself. He <laughs> wants to interact with people. So, uh, you're the sponsor, so I guess you're financially responsible for the <laughs> so, so, okay, I'm just, I'm just <laughs> I want to know who I go after later. <laughs> you know what? Again, ah, these, 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 these impressions keep coming into my mind and we have such limited time. You know how we, we are Filipino. Let me ask you, how many Filipino homeless people do you know? Roaming around the streets. I, I don't guarantee you not a whole lot. Maybe you know one or two. At the very most two. Why? Because we have a sense of community. When we come together, when we find out relatives of relatives of friends of friends come and cross our paths, we feel in our lives that sense of community. And so in that sense of community, I ask that this community, this body, pray for this child. Pray for this child. She did go a couple thousand, a couple thousand miles and some time zones away from us after this, but yet she is part of the family. And someday I mean, in heaven, I'm looking forward to the time when you say, hey, remember me? You guys dedicated me. That's what I want to do. Right? Let's come to prayer. Ladies, can you lay hands on Don't Don't cry, right? Okay. Not that they shouldn't cry. Right. I'm not going to cry. Lord, we thank you for this time. And we honor you because you are the one that created everything. And we ask Lord that at this time, Lord, we pray. Grant a covering upon this family and upon this child, Isabel. Yes. Make her span straight, make her span tall. Lord, let, let her be an example of how good you are. As the parents teach, let her learn. As they read scriptures, let her remember in her heart. And then, Lord, we ask, if you tarry, let her grow. In grace, in the approval of her parents' eyes, in the approval of the grandparents' eyes, in the approval of the church's eyes, in the approval of people's eyes. Let you, Lord, be the one that be glorified in your life. Thank you, Lord, for this opportunity. We dedicate her to you. In the times when we cannot be with her, we ask, Lord, that you be with her. In the times, Lord, that we cannot care for her, when we are far apart, we pray, Lord, that this bond of prayer be always there and always made. Lord, we give you all the praise.